Given the roof below, what is the angle theta that the roof attaches to the house to the nearest tenth of a degree? The first thing you have to realize from the picture is you can turn this into a triangle. And so I'm going to draw that triangle here. And given that triangle, I know this side and this side are both 16 feet. And because the width of the house is 28, the width of the house from here to here is also 28. And so now if you look, what do you have? A side, side, side triangle. Given a side, side, side triangle, we use the law of cosines. So, what am I looking to find? I'm looking to find the angle theta depicted in my original picture. So, I put theta there, and I have to give this angle a name besides theta. I'm going to call it A, B, or C, and I'm just going to choose the angle A. And so if you look in your notes, you're looking for the law of cosines that has the angle A in it. And so I'm going to write that here, and that's going to be A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine of angle A. Now, plug in what I know. What I know is side A is going to be here, so this will be side A. For simplicity's sakes, I'm just going to call this side B and call this side C. So I plug in what I know. 16 squared equals 16 squared plus 28 squared minus 2 times 16 times 28 times cosine of A. Now, solve for your unknown. Your unknown, of course, is angle A. So 16 squared is 256. So I get 256 equals 256 plus 784, which is 28 squared. And 2 times 16 times 28 is negative 896 times cosine of A. Now, I've got this number, this number, and then this number times cosine of A. So these two numbers can both be moved to the left-hand side. So if I subtract 256 from both sides, and I subtract 784 from both sides, I end up with negative 784 equals negative 896 times cosine of A. Now, I can take this and what do I have? I have multiplication, you know, so I have 896 times cosine of A. Well, I want to solve for A, so I'm going to divide. Divide both sides by negative 896. Divide by negative 896. And what do you get? You get cosine of A equals 0.875. And a negative divided by negative is going to give me a positive. But I don't want cosine of A. I want A. How do I find A? Take the inverse cosine of both sides. And the inverse cosine of 0.875 will give me A equals 28.955 degrees. And the original problem said to the nearest tenth. So if I say 28.9 and then the next one over is a 5, I'm going to round that up. Well, uh, 28.9 rounded up is going to be 29.0 degrees. And that's the answer for angle A.